Next one is that Urban Meyer isn't making it to the bye week. And now with this, oh man, like I mean, I already kind of lambasted Urban Meyer um, a decent amount when we we're talking a little bit earlier in the show. But man, for if, if you're Urban Meyer, this you already. Mm, mm, I think I might go there. I think I might say that Urban Meyer is already on the hottest seat of any coach in the league. Already there, even harder than Joe Judge. Because I don't know if they really expect too much out of Joe Judge. Joe Judge there in, in New York, ultimately. I know um, John Gruden was on the hot seat as well. Um, I mean, Vic Vangio was on the hot seat, but he got off to a good start. The Broncos get their first win in September in years. Vic Fangio gets his first win in September as a head coach in general. Um, and then the Jags, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on Urban Meyer there in Jacksonville. They have one of the greatest quarterback prospects ever. They have a solid offense there. James Robinson, a good a good offensive line. Uh, LaVisca Chenault, and then a pretty good defense there as well. You expect them to, to win some games, and you expect them to not be 1-15 in 15 like you were last year, or be a 1-win team at least. You probably expect them. You want them to at least win six games. I don't think that's a crazy margin to give the Jags. Um, maybe 5-6. Five, five to six. That's not crazy. If you don't reach that, honestly, that the season looks like a huge disappointment. And his schedule is not getting any easier after Houston. Of course, their bye week is week seven. They still have five more games to go until then. And if you take a look at the lineup, it's a home game against Denver, a home game against Arizona, and Cincinnati, a home game against Tennessee, and a home game against Miami, technically, because that one is going to be in London. Um, so, not really a home game, but you understand there. Denver. Great defense. The offense should see a lot of success against that um, Jags defense. Arizona, obviously a fantastic defense and an equally fantastic offense. Cincinnati surprised a lot of people. They get a win over, I mean, not the best Vikings team, but a solid team nonetheless. And they look good. Joe Burrow and and that um, Joe Burrow looked great in his return. And for a receiver... That was, I, I mean, putting out quotes saying that it's hard to it's hard to see the uh, NFL football compared to a college one. He's already looking like one of the best wide receivers of the draft, and there is a reason that he was uh, taken that early. Um, and so, I mean, Jamar Chase, man, what a way to make a statement! Uh, I mean, a couple huge plays in that game, and that Joe Burrow um, and Chase connection, it's already there. It's almost like they never even left LSU. And then after that, you're going to have the Tennessee Titans, which of course didn't look great against the Cardinals, but still a team with a lot of talent. Uh, um, should have a good enough defense there. I mean, that's going to be a tough test for the Jags. Divisional games are always tough. And then the Miami Dolphins, who got the good win over the Patriots this weekend, and they're looking like they could be a solid team. They're a playoff contender. So that's a tough one as well. So there's a very, very good chance that the Jags go into the bye week 0-6. And and then coming out of the bye week, they got Seattle, they got Buffalo, they got Indianapolis, they got San Francisco. And they really don't have, like, I guess a winnable game, if you really want to call it that, until week 12 against Atlanta Falcons. So if you look at that, the Jags could be 0-11 and and a 6, and they'll have to win out to make it to that 6-11 and that, that will look good. They'll have to only lose one game if they want to make it to that 5-11 at least. If you're or 5-12, and if you're 4-13 and this season, if you're 3-14 and this season, I mean, Urban Meyer... I know Eric um, Miami is looking like the leader for the uh, for the USC job, but Urban Meyer <laughs> might be going running back to college already after the season. He needs to win, but it's a very tough schedule that he has to go against. 